Nate here. Decided to do something a little different today, starting off this review, as we review the Twin Flippin' Tray 266 Plus. The Twin Flippin' Tray 266 Plus is part of the 2022 Ultimate Guard exclusive line. I got my hands on one and I thought I would do a quick review on it. To be honest, I hadn't planned on doing this many reviews right in a row, but when I walked into my LGS and saw it on the shelf, I had to get it and try it out. There's another reason. If you remember a short I did a little while back, about the BCW Prism and double-sleeved commander decks, I have a commander deck that I double-sleeved in sealable inner sleeves as well as Dragon Shield outer sleeves, and they fit in the Prism! But you literally need tools to get them out. So I needed something that could hold my double-sleeved commander deck. This one does it with so much extra room. In fact, the deck has some tokens that I've just never kept with the deck that I can now keep with the deck because it fits. In fact, there's extra room, which is kind of nice. The Twin Flippin' Tray 266 Plus has two compartments. Each one can hold 133 double-sleeved cards, and it also has a tray in the center for dice and tokens and other such items. This thing can hold a lot of dice, even the larger dice dice. It does catch a little bit. If you have larger dice or if the dice kind of double up on themselves, it still will fit fairly well without any trouble. I also like this feature here where you can flip the dice tray around and show the Ultimate Guard logo if you want, and you can still get the dice tray out. If you open both compartments, you'll see that there's a thumb hold for the tray so you can pull the tray out in that way. So if you prefer the tray to look like this, you can. It has the Ultimate Guard Xena skin on the outside and the monocolored microfiber inner lining. I also really like the mono color, and I, I must give a shout out to a commenter, the name is on the screen, that explained that every year Ultimate Guard does an exclusive line, and in previous years it has just been different colorways of existing products, where this year, as far as they know and as far as I know, it is the first year that they've done new products completely, and it's probably them just trying a new marketing thing just to see how it does. So we're probably going to see these in different colors later on, and they also mentioned that the the mono color. Mono color is where the outside of the box and the inside of the box pretty much match. They make the inside microfiber the same color or a similar color as the outside color. And that's apparently something they're moving towards. And frankly, I like it a lot. That gray is nice, but it's a little bland. This just feels more premium to me. One of my few nitpicks of the box, and that is the fact that these inner boxes here are almost too big. Even with my tokens, the cards are just going to kind of flap around. It was almost like Ultimate Guard was worried that they were going to create another box that didn't fit a double-sleeved commander deck that they overshot just to be safe. I realize that there's other card games out there, but I do know that among the Magic the Gathering community that that was a pretty big complaint that at least their boulders didn't fit double-sleeved commander decks, and I, I think I heard the same about Sidewinders, and please correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below. The only other nitpick I have with it is the flaps. Now, the flaps, they sometimes get caught on each other, and when you go to open it, as you can see, when I lift it, it brings the middle section with it. Basically, every time I open up the bottom lid, it opens up the middle section. Tiny. It's a tiny complaint trying to do this so that way I don't dump my cards out all over the place. This one here is a regular double-sleeved commander deck. This is a double-sleeved commander deck with sealable inner sleeves. That's a lot more, as you can see. It takes up a lot more space. The sealable inner sleeves takes up a lot more space. Uh, this is... Oh! <laughs> Jesus. Screw it, I'm going with the take. This is a lot of dice here, as you can see. Ah, it keeps trying to focus on my face. As you can see, this is a lot of dice here, which is very nice. If you're watching this and thinking, I don't need that extra space, well, then be aware that you can fit your boulders in here. This is an 80 plus, and this is a 40 plus, and this is a commander deck. It also can fit prisms. Yeah, this thing can fit other boxes too. If you want to go that way, you can. So that's another option for you. And then you can just use these as just general trays, put chips in it. I, I don't know, it's up to you. I find it interesting that they do these as an exclusive line. It's obviously a marketing gimmick. I'm just curious at how successful it is, though considering I've bought two products off this year's line and at least one product off a previous line, it probably is somewhat successful. This is my first twin flipping tray. I have never owned a deck box like this. All the deck boxes I've owned have been like the boulder, where they really can only hold the cards themselves, nothing extra for counters or tokens or anything like that. I'm not talking about the bigger deck boxes, I'm talking about the single deck boxes or the double deck boxes, those kinds of things. So I don't have any satin towers or anything like that. I've always just stuck with boulders or some variation thereof. So this is my first twin flipping tray from Ultimate Guard 
completely. And I've got to say, I've had it just for a couple of days. This is going to be great for my EDCCDs, everyday carry commander decks. God, that's such a dumb f joke. <laughs> but I'm keeping it in. If I were going to bring more than two commander decks, then I probably would bring my photography bag filled up with decks. That's what I would take to a friend's house for a full night of playing magic is something where I'd have a lot of variety where this would be for when I know that we're playing commander, we're probably only going to get two games at most, if that, because we all know commander can go very long, especially if you play with silly decks like I do. This is perfect for something like that, where I don't want to be lugging around a ton of cards. I just want to have the couple decks that I know I'm going to be playing. It's a little too big, but so am I. So I love it. Like, subscribe, click on stuff. We're going to be covering the Sidewinder 266 Plus. That is not at all what this is. Don't look at the thing, look at me. I'm not used to moving. This show is part of the CIP Network, inspiring creativity, one episode at a time.